praise the lord you are welcome today to our test the scriptures we are so happy to have you once again today for this study you know that the lord wants us always to meet and as we study the word of god together he is happy before we go in let us pray Everlasting Father, we thank you today. We bless your name. We glorify you for the life and the grace of God you are given unto us today. To be before you and to listen to you. Lead us and guide us and teach us what we know not. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We know you have heard us, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Today, by the grace of God, we are back again with our search, our study, our learning. Last week, by the grace of God, we went through an important topic that was in the Luke chapter 19. We saw the conversion of Zacchaeus, a man who was a collector of collecting and this man was a cheater but a Jew though was working in the government for Romans and he did many things and he saw himself really desiring sincerely to be born again and he wanted really to be born again to meet Christ and finally he met Christ and he was born again so we teach us that we as Christians we are to preach the gospel. Many are those who are really sincere. We need to pray as God. Je Zacchaeus has never met Jesus. Jesus has never met Zacchaeus. But he saw being omniscient, omnipotent, he sees everything, he knows everything. He called, he mentioned Zacchaeus' name by his name and told him to when to go to his house. And Zacchaeus born, was born again. Zacchaeus did not allow anything, his status, what people say about him, his small height and everything, no hindrance that, that the crowd to hinder him from being born again. The sincere seekers of God will really be born again in Jesus' name. Today we are coming to our study, a new study that is in the, the book of John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 34 the topic is John's witnesses or John witness concerning Christ John witness concerning Christ who, who are John are we talking about here we are talking about John the Baptist let's go to our text in John chapter 1 from verse 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made but was not made. In him was life and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John, that is John the Baptist. The same came from a witness to bear witness of the light that all men to him must be believe he was not the la that light but was sent to bear witness of that light and that was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not he came out or he came into his own and his own receive him not but as many as receive him to them give the power to become the sons of God even to them that believe it on his name verse 13 says which were born not of blood nor of he the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of God verse 14 and the word was made flesh in the world among us that, that means and we beheld his glory and the glory of us of the 
who only or the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. 15. John bare witness of him and cried, saying, This man, this was he of whom I speak. He that cometh after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. Verse 16. And I won't and of his fullness of fullness have all we receive in grace for grace verse 17 for the law was given by moses but the grace and truth came by jesus christ praise the lord i said praise the lord so here we saw jesus christ or uh, the john the baptist giving a serious witness concerning jesus but we saw first of all in the book of John, chapter 1, and John, also the Apostle John, who wrote the book of John, and the John is the fourth book on the Apostle, the book of the Apostles, just after Matthew, Mark, Luke, and the fourth one was John, the book of John, the Apostle. And there you can see that he presents the deity of Christ to the entire world world so he said that what the first three gospel presented or present christ to different culture or group while this one that is the fourth one which is the epistle of john that one present him to all people of all time and particularly to the church so here you see john the, uh, the apostle begins his apostle not with a statement of christ's birth but with his what pre-existence as the eternal word capital word capital w and god that what that is possessing divine nature divine substance divine essence divine essence power divine power and divine glory in the god's head so here we see that john wrote to prove that jesus is the eternal word christ so all the miracles all the teachings all the discourses selected and written by the inspiration of the holy spirit in this gospel has been done so that everyone according to john chapter 20 verse 30 and 31 the bible says what so that everyone what must believe that jesus is the christ the son of god and that believing you might have life through his name may lord help us to believe in jesus name so in the text here we see that the apostle john here reveals christ as what number one as he reveals christ as number one what as as what as god to so reveal Christ here as God, number one, as God in the verse one. In the verse two, he revealed God, uh, Christ here as God. The first one he revealed Christ as what? As the Word, as the Word, the Word, the Word, the Word that came out of the mouth of God, the Word. So, the very same verse one, we see that he revealed Christ as what? The God. The, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God the word was called he said first in the verse 2 and the verse 3 you saw that he revealed jesus christ as the creator of all things as the creator of all things in verse 9 he revealed christ as the light who would illuminate who illuminates you see it he revealed also christ as the life as the eternal life Praise the Lord. Verse 14, he revealed Christ as the only begotten and written son of the word of the Father. The only begotten of the Father. Then the verse 29, he revealed Christ as the Lamb of God. As the Lamb of God. In the verse 30, he revealed, uh, the, 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 he revealed Jesus Christ as the eternal one. As the what? The eternal one. In the verse 33, he revealed Christ as the baptizer in the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. So, the word 
God himself, creator of all things, the light who illuminate life eternal, life, the only begotten Son of the Father, the Lamb of God, the eternal one, and the baptizer in the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. That is what we see here. So, as we look at all this, we see that he was inspired to capture the witness of John the Baptist concerning Christ. So, as a true witness and foreigner, John the Baptist testified what of Christ. That he testified that what is his testimony. I can say that his testimony concerning Jesus Christ was significant. John the Baptist testified positively. He testified what he was sent to do. Hmm? His testification is really what uh, really was really showing what that Christ. And the way we were testifying, it was even authoritative. It was authoritative in presentation. It was really also incisive. It was also instructive in content. It was also very powerful in its effect and impactful in its influence on the what on his audience who believe and receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. So let's go through this one to understand the topic very well the first one we're going to look at christ's divine divinity and incarnation to the call and ministry of john as the witness of christ and three we look at what we call the content and the impact of john's witness of christ one we saw that christ's divinity and what that Christ deity, so Christ divinity and incarnation. So when we look in the John chapter four, one from verse one to fourteen, and we read that place already, we can see that. Let's read from one to three. Verse John chapter uh, one from verse one to three. It said, "In the beginning was the word, and the word was." with God and the word was God verse 2 and the same was in the beginning with God and all things were made by him and without him was nothing was nothing was what anything made that was made you see it you see it here so it's showing exactly who is Christ who is Christ here so Christ was divine. Divine. That's why we can see that the gospel opens up with what the revelation of Jesus Christ as the Word. So he said in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. So this does not refer to a written or a spoken word, but it is this is the Word, which is made flesh and dwell among us. So we hear even look at it. We said that when the apostle came, they said well, and we heard the glory, the glory of what, the glory of us. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, the only child of God. That was what? Full of grace and truth. In verse 14. So Christ as the word existed long before uh, all things were created. All things were made by him. And without him was nothing made that was made. So prior to Jesus Christ's incarnation, he has been with the Father from the dateless. You can see, you know that he has been with you guys from the dateless, from way without date. He was with there for just from the from the beginning of all things. He has been with God without. He has been with God a long time. So we have to you know that some people also give some wrong. We should understand that John the Baptist came as a what a forerunner. To announce the arrival of the true light, both to the Jews and the world, second to the world, to the Gentiles. So we see that those who declare that they are they are they expected they they they, 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 they said that they are the expected Christ delude themselves and others. Such are the first Christ whom the Lord wants and will really 
arise to, de to, to deceive many people in the last days. The lifestyle of sin and falsehood is a reflection of spiritual darkness. So Christ came to dispel his will, his light, as darkness is really universal. But so, in the effect of light, he says what? In John chapter 12 verse 40, he said what? For I am, the, I am a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not be able to be in the darkness. So, however, when he incarnated, people in the world did not know him. Even the Jew who were foretold of his advent did not. So we saw that what the spiritual ignorance and rejection of some people will hinder them, will really not hinder God from saving those who believe and receive what Christ. Because it said in John chapter 1 verse 12 that where we just read, we said, but as many as received him, to them gave the power to become what the sons of God, even to them that believed on his name. See it here. So Christ gives power to those who turn away from their sins and receive him them back. We will give her the grace to do that in Jesus' name. So the testimony of early believers who were closed proved he was normally perfect. Then we are to preach in the gospel. So that means that alone we have to do it and serve God as He wants us to do in Jesus' name. So let's move fast to our point number two. Now, point number two that is the core and mystery of John as a witness of Christ. So when we take uh, again our text in that same chapter 15, chapter, uh, verse 15, John chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. So John bear witness of him and cried saying, This was he of whom I speak. He that cometh after me is preferred before me and he was before me. Verse 16 says, And of the fullest have all we receive and grace for grace praise the lord so we see here that in all as christ want us to do receive the ministry he started in the work so as a witness or any witness is someone who testified to any fact or incident from what his own personal knowledge and what experience. So witness is needed when there is controversy or even doubt about something in dispute. So the long passage of time between the first prediction of the advent of the Messiah in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 and its subsequent iteration by the prophet, especially Isaiah and Phanachi, is it stated the coming of the forerunner or herald to prepare people's heart for the coming of Jesus Christ. So John the Baptist was the was the God sent messenger to prepare lives the life the way and to have So we said that like John the Baptist, we as believers, we are called to be witnesses of Christ. So it is when people hear about Christ's love and sacrifice for their sacrificial salvation that they will repent and believe he will come to dwell in those people that are born again. If you don't go and preach, how can these people be born again? John Baptist the Baptist lived a purposeful life. He had a clear understanding of his goal appointed and
So this help him stick to what? To preaching. Because the Bible says that something what? That the voice of him that cried in the wilderness. That was Isaiah. You see it? So this really helped him to preach in the baptism of repentance for the remission of sin. In Luke chapter 3 verse, from verse 3. He was really sincere in Kawata. He was seriously sincere in conduct and ministry. He responded to the Jewish leader who sent a missionaries to inquire if he was the Messiah, was self-effecting. So, the inquiry stemmed from his success is stirring up in spiritual weakness among the Jews over 400 years, which drew multitude of publicans, multitude of Pharisees, even multitude of what? Sadducees, even soldiers, and others to listen to his what? Message. But he told them plainly that he was not neither uh, the Messiah nor Eli, nor Elias or any other prophet, but Christ forerunner. He told them. So at Beth uh, Rabbah, where John baptized people, that means in uh, Beth Rabbah, go to the river Jordan. He revealed that Christ, who was by far superior to him, was already among them, that but they did not do what recognize him. So, as the source of spiritual life, grace, and truth, he is superior to John, angels, and Moses. All the prophets of the old testify and foreigners of religion. Of even I can say religion, we have to preach the gospel and make sure that we spread it as the way uh, this man did here. We will preach the gospel to change many people's their lives, and then the Lord will be so happy when we do that in Jesus' name. So quickly, let's look at point number three. Point number three, looking at the content and the impact of Christ, of, of the witness of Christ. On the witness of Christ. So on the witness of Christ, what can we say? That is the content and the impact of John the the content and the impact of John's witness of Christ. What did how did it impact John's work? How did it impact? And we can read in John chapter one for verse one or verse ten. So we saw that John the Baptist revealed that Christ is what? Full of grace and truth. Yes, we read up we see that John the Baptist said that in his what? God messages. He said that the Jesus Christ is simply part of the people he was to think of. So Jesus is uh, what, the source of grace and truth. He is what? Full of grace and truth. He gives to everyone who wholeheartedly seek him saving grace, sanctifying grace, spirit empowered grace, saving grace, steadfast grace with strong conviction, supernatural grace, and sufficient grace for a full task. So he is the true word for personified he the truth that set the free from bondage to sin and satan that is from jesus christ so there is no error or falsehood in him that is in jesus christ so all his promises are true the content of john we did we are i can see the content of john's witness is really centered on what? It's centered on the ultimate purpose of Christ's coming 
into the world. Why did Christ come to this earth? He came to save the lost. Praise the Lord. He came to save the lost. That's the reason why Christ came on this earth. Yes. Christ is the Passover and even or he is the Pascal what? Lamb. What is that lamb doing? Is the lamb that delivers us from sins. Is that lamb delivers from what? Eternal destruction. So. But in the new covenant, Jesus is our what? Everlasting lamb for the atonement of our sins. John's witness of Christ was effective. As many that believe in him, two disciples of John, that means one of whom was Andrew, heard him declare Jesus as the Lord of the Lamb. Praise the Lord. So, others, other, 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 even other people say that John did not, that John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true. So as a result, many believe in Christ. Praise the Lord. Hmm. John was affected with his heart. Or we we is hearers because he received his ministry and message from God. You see now, also he was sincere in all that he was doing because he received that ministry from what from God, and he did exactly as the Lord was asking to do. Praise the Lord. So we see that nothing dip, uh, dispels falsehood more than the truth. John was told and even encouraged to stand for and declare the truth. John conducted young John's conduct revealed how to be what an effective witness of Christ. So we see that number one, as a witness, Christ a uh, John was what faithful to declare the word of the people to all status, to all his statue, to all his work. So we also saw what fearlessness. They did all that they could do to make sure that they show that. And that's what I'm saying that John's conduct revealed how to be what effective witness of Christ. And number two, as a witness, he was faithful to declare the word to the people of all status. He did not he was not chosen any and living. Then he was also fearless and what uncompromising. He did not change it because of this and that and that. He said truth. He was also what flaming and as a prey. And fiery. He was flaming and fiery. Yes, flaming and fiery. He was also forthright and was understood by even the people and even what? Fervent. He was also what we call faultless. He was faultless. He was also what? Fulfilled as he was, huh? he was also fulfilled as he entered his ministry successfully. He also also what he was also futurist, a futuristic. How was he able to do it? And when we do that, the Lord will be so happy for us in Jesus' name. So we see that he talked about the time of Jerusalem. He spoke about hell and heaven. Like John, as we, we today, as we believers, we should ask the Lord to employ them to witness in the houses or to make sure that we do the same thing that he did. Praise the Lord. So he talked about the time of judgment, hell and heaven. And I said, ask like John, we should ask the Lord to employ many people to witness effectively effective for flame for flame and then and when we must be humble we must be we must be really conscious and diligent as what uh, as he was and of the light as John was with the sole aim of what convincing and even bringing them to conviction, to conversion. 
So we have to do what? To bring them to believe that Jesus is Lord and Savior. Believe and trust that Jesus Christ is your Savior in Jesus' name. And that will make us be more blessed, more open doors unto us. Today, the Lord is spoken to us concerning how John the Baptist, he came as a foreigner to prepare the way of the Lord. He spoke the truth, he said everything. Though he died for Christ, he did the way of God. To the time, he was, his days was over. And so, we as Christians today, we are to do the same thing. Work for the Lord, serve the Lord, be faithful, be truthful, in season and not in season, and preach the gospel, the totality of the gospel, and the Lord will bless us abundantly in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, because I know that you have heard us. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you today. We bless you for this wonderful time you have given to us. Lord, you love us so much, and you want us that we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. We pray the Lord, lead us and give us the grace to continue to stand on your word and to serve you at all day and all time. And we know that our service will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you because we know that you have heard us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we pray to you. Amen. May the name bless you and uh, be so blessed. The Lord continue to bless us and continue to strengthen us. It's not easy. That's why I'm doing this. So tired. Ah, the Lord is continuing to strengthen us. Let's pray the Lord continue to strengthen us that this work of the Lord will not be seized, will not stop in Jesus' name. Amen.